Hello and welcome to Professor Pincushion. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use your seam allowance in order to create a casing for elastic. So I already have my elastic in this one and now I have a stretchy waistline. Let's go ahead and get started. My elastic is going to go into this seam right here. So this is my waistline seam for my bodice and my skirt. And I'm going to be sewing my two seam allowances here together. This is not going to be actually stitched to anything. I'm just stitching up here at the top, attaching the two seam allowances. And then that's going to create a casing in between the two stitches. Now you do have to be careful that your elastic is still going to fit. So if, for example, from this raw edge, I'm going to be sewing a quarter of an inch. And this is normally a 5 8 inch seam allowance. This elastic is also a quarter of an inch. So then I can lay it here and make sure that it's still going to fit. Now you can see that I don't have a lot of wiggle room. So this is very important that you're very accurate in your stitching and you don't veer off too much into the casing or else your elastic's not going to fit through. Now we do need to make sure that we do leave an opening in order to slip the casing in originally because if we just sew this all the way around my whole shirt, then there's going to be no opening to stick in the elastic. So normally what I like to do is I'll just put a couple of pins, just creating an X. And then from here, I'm going to go a couple more inches. The elastic is not very thin, at least mine isn't. Mine's only a quarter of an inch, so you really don't need that much room. So I'd probably say about two inches or, or a little bit less than that. And so I'm going to start here, sew all the way around, and then stop here and do a back stitch. So that way everything in between my two X's is open enough for me to stick in my elastic. For sewing the casing, I'm just using a regular straight stitch. Don't forget to back stitch at both of your X's and make sure that you're as accurate as you can be. Now it's time to insert the elastic. Your pattern may have an elastic guide which shows you how long to cut your elastic. But if you don't have that one, just put the elastic around your waistline and then cut a piece. We can always adjust it and make it smaller. To help me get my elastic through this very tiny casing, I'm going to use a very tiny safety pin. You can see I just pinned it to the end of the elastic. So it kind of gives me something to hold on to as I'm putting it through. So we're going to start here. All right. I think the trickiest part is just getting it started. So this is my safety pin right here. I'm just going to gather a little bit of the fabric casing on there. You can see it bunched up. I'm going to hold it with my right hand and pull it with my left hand. And I'm going to do the same thing. So gather, pull with the left hand, and then just continue this until it comes out on the other side. Once you have both ends of the elastic, I would start by overlapping them by about an inch. You can see the overlap there and put a safety pin to hold it. Then go ahead and try it on. If you need to adjust it, you can adjust the elastic, either making it a little tighter or a little looser. Once you have the desired space that you like, go ahead, take it to your machine and we're going to stitch across the elastic in order to secure it. To secure my elastic, I'm going to do a zigzag stitch and I like to go back and forward a couple of times just to make sure that it's really not going to come undone later once it's in the casing. So I just go back and forth, uh, maybe about four or five times. Then all you need to do is gently pull on the casing until the rest of the elastic goes inside of the casing and you can go ahead and sew the casing shut. Here's the right side of that same waistline. So because we're using the seam allowance as the casing, you're not going to see an obvious casing on the right side, but we're still getting the effects of the elastic waist. New tutorials are released weekly, so please subscribe to be notified of the next release. Make sure to check out our other videos and visit ProfessorPincushion.com to view our complete library with well over 200 sewing video tutorials, including our exclusive premium content. Our premium membership is only $5 a month for unlimited access and only available at ProfessorPincushion.com. Also, don't forget to download our mobile app for videos on the go. Thanks for watching.